So we all know that Node.js is the new kid on the block, but should you learn it? Let's go through three reasons why you might want to consider doing so. Reason number one. For those who have learned to develop using the LAMP stack, which stands for Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP, you'll know that you're typically working with a bunch of different technologies. So you got your Linux server running Apache on the back end, your back end code is typically written in PHP, and then you have some JavaScript, HTML, and CSS on the front end. With Node, you're typically developing in what's called the mean stack, which stands for Mongo, Express, Angular, and Node. And the really cool thing about using this stack as opposed to LAMP is that you can actually use JavaScript and the JSON format pretty much everywhere throughout your application. So having one language really simplifies uh, building your web apps. Another big reason to consider Node.js is the extremely vibrant community of developers that it has. So Node has something called NPM, which is the Node Package Manager, that allows you to include other people's open source code very quickly and very easily. So at the time that I'm making this video, there are over 263,000 NPM packages and over 49 million downloads from today alone. So the Node Package Manager, which sits at the center of Node, is a very powerful and very useful development uh, library that you can call upon basically at any time you're writing your code. Node.js is also blazingly fast, and I won't go into the nitty-gritty technical details, but it has a lot to do with the way Node.js was written, the fact that it's built on Google's V8 engine, the fact that it handles requests in a more asynchronous, uh, non-blocking manner, etc. So that's something you can read a little bit more about, but Node.js is built to be very lightweight and very quick. Last but not least, Node is cloud ready. It's practically built for the cloud. So using Node correctly in your web applications will allow you to scale to more and more users very effectively. So that's a quick intro to Node. I'm including a link to a fantastic Udemy course. That's the best one that I could find pretty much. And for anyone that wants to learn more, take this course, it's great. You'll learn Node like the back of your hand and it's just a great resource when it comes to exploring the mean stack. Thanks.